Oh man, guys. Oh shit, I forgot my sign-in information. I, I have an account. I voted last year. Sign me the fuck in. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the frame drops on the Game Awards. Wow, it's just like the games of today. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, nominees. Nominees. Wait, where's the voting? Where's the voting? It's not up yet, dude. What is this website, dude? Oh my god, how can I vote? Look at the frame drops. Oh, here, here. Vote now. Vote now. Start voting. Dog shit website. Please. Here we go. Sign in to vote. I am signed in. I am literally signed in. Wait, is this game of the year? Okay, okay. Uh, Alan Wake 2 is not for me. I can't do it. Detective Simulator game is not my... I, I did not have fun. I'm sorry. That's that's me, though, you know? That, that's me and my quirks. I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, so I, I don't know if I can do it. Oh, man. Of all these games, I've only played one. Yeah, hey, yeah. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Spider-Man. Look at this website, dude! <laughs> Best game direction. I've only played one. Let's go, dude. Spider-Man is winning. Next category. I wish there was a way to, like, abstain. I think there is, actually. You can just, yeah, you can just go to the next. Best narrative. Yo! Phantom Liberty. Phantom Liberty. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Who developed the, who developed the Game of the Year awards, man? Uh, okay, next. Everyone in chat's voting too. Yeah, let, let's vote together. Best art direction. Ooh. Yes, like, yeah, sorry if I'm not putting anything here. I just, I've never played, I haven't played Zelda, guys. And uh, I haven't played Mario either. Art, Lies of P is pretty good, but Hi-Fi Rush, I think is, I think I'm going to go Hi-Fi Rush for this one. Oh, shit, but the Lies of P. Oh, shit, shit. I'm, I'm kind of torn, but, I kind of torn between these two. I re I re I do I do like both art style wise. Oh shit. Oh shit. High fi rush. I'm going high fi rush. It's just more unique, you know? Okay, okay, website. I'm gonna kill myself before we end this. Best score and music. Oh shit. Oh I, I didn't the only one I played is this. Oh and it and it was good though. And it was good. This FPS. It's not my fault. <laughs> I have a good computer. It's the website. Best audio design. Ah, uh, Dead Space. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly at this point. I'm not even. I'm not even like critically. <laughs> you can just. It's so easy to just make an account and just vote and just guess. The the only one that truly really matters to me was is Game of the Year. You know. But like, I can't believe Armored Core Six isn't in there, man. Best performance. I'm sorry, I don't know if this is a hot take, but I think Idris Elba kind of like phoned it in for Phantom Liberty, dude. I might I might do a Cal for this one. Oh shit, Yuri Lowenthal was also really good though for Spider-Man 2. Okay, I'm kind of torn between uh, Jedi Survivor and Spider-Man 2. Oh shit, oh shit. Yuri was good, but so was Cal, guys. Come on, Cal was good too, man. I felt his- I felt his anguish at Seer's death, dude. I will not be swayed. I, I will listen to my heart. What does it say? What does it say, Zanny? What is the more memorable performance? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is. It is your Lowenthal. No, we're not doing a poll. These are my votes. You can make an account. It's free. Innovation in accessibility. What the fuck does that mean? Can I read? Recognizing software and hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features. I see. But like, I don't know though, cause like, I, I don't really, I didn't really check accessibility features. The Spider-Man 2 count with how much it handholds everyone. I guess Spider-Man 2 wins that one, I guess. Let's just skip that one. Games for impact. For a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message. What, I, I, what? We're skipping. Best ongoing, where are you for astounding? Oh, oh, evolving the player experience over time. Okay, uh, Cyberpunk or Fortnite? Cyberpunk or Fortnite? I'm, I'm, I'm giving this to Cyberpunk, man. Some of these categories, they, they just be giving awards to everyone now, man. Best community support. <gasps> Cyberpunk? Community support. Wait, wait, No Man's I can't vote No Man's Sky because I didn't play it. I think Cyberpunk. Again. It's Cyberpunk again. I 
I, I didn't play Baldur's Gate because they didn't release it on Xbox, so like I'm sure I would have voted for it too for some of these. Cyberpunk. It's the only one I've played, man, so it's like... It's okay, there's like a bazillion people voting. I'm sure my vote doesn't matter that much. Best independent game. I played none of these, so let's just skip. Best debut indie game. Played none of these. This looks interesting. Dredge. Is that... I? I I see, I see a spooky creature underwater. I'm immediately interested because I'm into that thalassophobia shit, you know? Yo, Afro, Afro video. An hour long Afro video. Leave that in the background later. Let me, let me just check this out for a little bit. Oh, oh, it's, it's not what I thought, guys. It, never mind. Not, not what I thought. I thought there's, I thought you like go underwater and shit and like, there's some, there's some scary fish. I thought it was a Subnautica. I thought it was Indie Subnautica. Okay, there. We're skipping. I, no, 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 I, I just wanted to see what the gameplay was like, so I skipped. I wasn't there to like, invest in the gameplay. Monster Hunter Now. That's a game? Oh, it's a mobile game. There's some, wait, what? There's Monster Hunter on the phone? Is it free? I'm, I'm checking the Play Store immediately. Oh my god, it is here. 3.2 stars on the Google Play Store. <laughs> I played none of these. Let's just skip that. Best VR slash AR. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to play that. Skip. Best action game. Yes! Yes! Finally! Yes! Peak! How did it take this long for Armored Core 6 to show up in the categories, man? Best action adventure. <gasps> Jedi Survivor. Is that is that just me being biased, guys? I I enjoyed Jedi Survivor way more than I enjoyed Spider-Man 2. Ooh! Best RPG, Lies of P, Lies of P. Best fighting. Uh, I played none of these. I didn't really do much fighting games this year. When Tekken 8 drops. Best family game. Skip. Best sim slash strategy. Played none of these. Skip. Best sports slash racing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, I played 23. I played 23. Why is this in the category, dude? Get the fuck out of my face, EA. <gasps> Hot Wheels Unleashed. All right, I the only, I only played Forza, but I didn't even like it that much. So let's just skip that. <laughs> Best multiplayer. I played none of Wait, no, I played Party Animals. Got bored. It's not Gang Beasts. Gang Beasts is still better. Best adaptation. <gasps> I did like the- I did enjoy the show a lot. Ooh, Nocturne was also pretty good. Nah, Last of Us better. Most anticipated game. Star Wars Outlaws. Hades 2! Hades 2! Please win, please win. Content creators of the year, okay. Okay. I'm not in it, I don't care. Best esports game. Ooh. Nah, didn't watch any of these. Best esports athlete, Dan. There's just, oh my god. Okay, okay, game awards. Okay, game awards. Best esports coach. Best esports event. Oh, we're done. Oh, I did it. All right, all right, we're good. I I am done with my I've done my civic duty and voted in the game of the year awards. Mm. All right, I'm good. I'm good.